Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to make a cute quick and easy spring card using some goodies from Not Too Shabby. I hope you'll stick around and see what I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. I don't know about you, but I am ready for spring. So that is why today I thought I would share a little spring card with you. In front of me are the main not too shabby supplies that I'll be using. That is the spring is in the air stamp set and their dots for spring paper pad. Now later as I go into the process, I will add more products and tools and I will be sure to let you know about those. But as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. If after watching today's card, you would like to get your hands on some not too shabby goodies, I do have links in the description box below and there's even a coupon code that you can use on most items in the shop. Let's get crafty! I got started on today's card by stamping my image and the sentiment. I will be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink and stamping onto a scrap of Nina Solar White. I am using the Memento Tuxedo Black because later I will be doing just a little bit of coloring with alcohol markers. You might notice that I have my image and sentiment spaced pretty far out on this piece of white cardstock, and that is just to ensure later when I use my circle dies that there's plenty of room for both of those. I did ink up and stamp the image and sentiment a couple times. Not only is it a new stamp, but my ink pad is a little dry, and I wanted to make sure that those were nice solid blacks. Since I will be paper piecing today, I brought in some scraps of pattern paper from the Dots for Spring paper pad and I stamped the portions of the images onto each of those scraps. I did the entire umbrella on the light orange and the boots on the light purple. Then for the rest of the umbrella, I have the light pink and light green and for those I just tried to ink up the specific little area I wanted on that and stamped it onto the pattern paper. Now for these again, I did usually stamp them twice just to get a nice solid black. Once each of the pieces had been stamped, I took those off screen to fussy cut them. Before I can move on to the paper piecing, I do need to get my little bunny colored up. I pulled in a light pink alcohol marker as well as kind of an ice blue with a colorless blender. I will be using the pink on the bunny's nose, cheeks, and in their ears. And then for the fur, I do want it to just stay white, but I do need to kind of add some color just so it stands out from the rest of the circle when I cut it. So I use that light blue and I kind of go around in, in the outside area of the bunny's fur. And then after I have a line there, I bring in the colorless blender and blend that out. After I had the bunny all colored in, I decided that I needed to ground it in some way. So I brought in a light blue marker and drew a little puddle at its feet. Now after I had the blue area, I once again brought in that colorless blender and just went over the area and tried to fade it out so the lines weren't so harsh. I picked out a couple stitch circles from my stash that fit the sentiment and my image and I took those off screen to die cut them. 
Now it's time to do the paper piecing. I started with the rain boots. I added a little adhesive to the back of each one and then placed it over the stamped area on the cutout circle. Now with the liquid glue, it did give me a little time to move it if I needed. And once the boot was in place, you'll see I pressed it down there with the stamp block just to make sure it was nice and solidly adhered. Now for the umbrella, I do want to pop it up off that circle, so that's why I made the orange copy the full umbrella, and then I just added the other two colors onto the left side. Off screen, I cut and folded an A2 card base, and I cut a piece of the light blue polka dot paper down for the front. I thought that would kind of make kind of a rainy background. I also added foam adhesive to the back of the sentiment and the umbrella, as well as another little circle I cut out using the same purple pattern paper as the boots. I just thought that having those three circles was more pleasing to the eye. And now that everything was ready for the card, I could start putting it together. So you'll see here I kind of laid it out and figured out where I wanted each of the circles to go, and then I started adhering those. The bunny piece went flat down onto the card front, and the other three pieces got popped up in their places around the circle. Now you know to finish it off, I'm going to need a little bit of bling, so that's why I brought in these 3mm Foley Cup sequins from Cartwrights. Now I'm not affiliated with them, but I do have a link in the description box below if you want to check them out. I placed a glue dot where I wanted each of those sequins to go. I decided to go with five, kind of just flowing from the top left to the bottom right. And when I had the glue dots in place and had removed the liner, I brought in my jewel picker and I put a little sequin onto each one. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.